How is arthritis treated? Well, there's really not a cure. The goals of treatment are really threefold. We want to provide pain relief, number one. We want to increase motion, so physical therapy will help. And then we want to improve strength, and that is sort of a continuation of a strengthening program that can significantly improve your symptoms. Medications and non-operative treatment also include some topical. There's uh, lots of creams that are on the market that you can buy over the counter. Um, I always recommend the capsaicin cream, which is the red hot chili pepper. And that is just has another form of anti-inflammatories that you can use. Of course, it's much easier to use on the knee. You really can't use it on the hip, but it works well for the hands as well. Uh, Tylenol is often forgotten. It's a great medicine. It's very safe, especially if you don't drink two scotches for dinner. And then anti-inflammatories such as Aleve, Advil, and ibuprofen, especially if you don't have any GI problems. Now, if you do have some GI problems, then there's some of the newer uh, anti-inflammatories that can, uh, uh, like the COX-2 inhibitors and Celebrex. And then there's some prescription strength anti-inflammatories that can work even better. Some patients benefit a great deal from a, a low dose of antidepressant because I'm sure all of you know that pain can make you quite depressed. And then there are some intraarticular injections which we use quite frequently, such as Synvisc or Suparts or Uflexa, uh, some of those different kinds that can help with some of the symptoms before you have surgery. True or false, people with arthritis should avoid exercise because the activity will make the condition worse. False. false. And we've had that question several times today. Exercise is good, but you've got to use common sense. And I can't emphasize this enough. You know, bench pressing 200 pounds when you have a bad shoulder is probably not a good idea. Leg pressing 350 pounds when you have a bad knee is, again, not a good idea. So you've got to use common sense. And find a routine. I mean, I tell my patient is, you, know, you brush your teeth in the morning, you go to the bathroom in the morning, and you take a shower in the morning. Well, add an exercise program to the morning. Make it a routine. Do it three times a week, and get into this routine 15, 20, 30 minutes of every day. Do some exercise to help your joints. Is there a cure for arthritis? Again, we've already said that. Unfortunately, there is not. There's lots of scientists all over the world trying to find the cure of arthritis, and I'm not sure that we ever will. When should you have surgery? That's a very individual question to each person. Some people have a very low tolerance to surgery. Some people have a very high tolerance to surgery. But my philosophy, it needs to be the last resort. You need to exhaust every other option first before we should go to surgery because surgery has complications. And the best surgeon in the world will have complications. Some surgeons talk more about it than others. But the fact is, complications do occur, so surgery really needs to be the last resort. Because you don't want to tell yourself, oh, I wish I hadn't had this surgery because I really didn't hurt that much. You don't want that. You want to say, you know, I didn't have a choice. I tried everything first, and so if something bad happens, so be it. Uh, you, accept, you, you can accept that more if you really use it as a last resort. Some of the surgical procedures um, that other surgeons have already talked about today uh, are, are of great great help. Removal, sometimes arthroscopy can help. There's some realignment surgeries that we don't do much anymore. And then there's partial knee replacement and total knee replacements uh, that can be, or total joint replacement that be, can be of great assistance. So this is an arthritic hip. And when we do a hip replacement, we put in a socket, we put in a stem, and that works very well.